when I was a kid in high school, I worked all one summer for a traveling carnival. It was an experience I never forgot. I suppose that's what must have prompted me one day not long ago to stop at one. I was driving back to the city in my Kaiser after having spent a rather dull weekend in the country. And I happened to notice this particular show. See, Mademoiselle Louise. See, the queen of Trimpsichore. See, her special temple dance. The secret dance performed only in the Forbidden City. Every movement of the little lady has a meaning of its own. Mademoiselle Louise knows all and shows all. Learn the secret that drove King Adelusia mad. Step right up, folks. It's a dime ten cents. A tenth of a dollar. Oh, oh no, Mr. Einstein. It's a dime, folks. Step right up. Step right up now. No delay. The show will start right away. Right this way now. Hurry, 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 hurry. Right this way, ladies and gentlemen. See, Mademoiselle Louise. A wonderful Mademoiselle Louise. It was around four o'clock of a dismal party afternoon. And I must have been about the only paying customer on the lot. That makes 12 points, and I see you in a fry. <laughs> and not a major league scout in sight. Well, uh, strictly confidentially, it's fixed, but uh, you win a Cupid doll. Which one do you want? Oh, how about that one? Okay, it's all yours. <laughs> You know, I used to work in a carny one summer. They weren't so generous then. Oh, well, the whole thing is fixed, but, uh, you know, we need some trade. Hey, uh, you weren't afraid you'll catch cold in that, are you? No. Nah. You know, in this carny, you're double in brass. I do the cooch number, too. Oh, well, that must keep you kind of busy. Well, I hope it won't last long. My boyfriend and I got a trapeze act. I don't want to be a cooch dancer. I want to be in a big act like Hugo. Mademoiselle Louise. Queen of the high wire. Louise. Oh, the boss. Uh -huh. What is it, Colonel? Where's Tex? I don't know. I haven't seen him for a couple of hours. Where'd he go? Well, the last time I saw him, he was walking across the street with Amy Muller. He went over to the tavern with her? Well, I warned him. He's really in for it now. My ears are burning, Colonel. Tex, where the devil you been? Around why? I'll tell you why. Murder? I don't believe it. Keep them out. Well, excuse me, Colonel, but I couldn't help overhearing. Hey, what do you want? I've got enough on my mind without having interference from outsiders. I can off the lot. Well, just a minute, Colonel. You I... heard him blow. Well, at least let me introduce myself. I'm Ellery Queen. My father's Inspector Queen of the New York Police Department. Listen, mister, when the uh, Colonel tells you to get off the lot, he means get off hey, the no, lot. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Inspector Queen, eh? I know how carnivals feel about getting in trouble with the local law. If there's been a murder, I might be able to help. Yeah, you might at that. Who is it, Colonel? Who's been killed? Well, I suppose I might as well tell you. It'll be all over the lot anyhow. Amy Muller. Oh, no. Does Hugo know? He's with the body. Him and the sheriff. Poor Hugo. Say, why'd she run off like that? I don't understand that, Dame. She keeps to herself too much. Must be hard with you around. How was Amy killed, Colonel? Lydia found her, hanging from a ridge pole after the afternoon show. The sheriff's cutting her down now. The sheriff says he wants to see you. Me? Why me? He'll tell you. Come on, Valentino. You mind if I join you, gentlemen? Well, that'll be up to the local sheriff if he wants you underfoot to... Oh, come along. Thanks, I will. <laughs> She's been dead for an hour. Why did that happen to you, Amy, my wife? <laughs> Does he have to keep up that wailing? Oh, with his wife, Sheriff. Well, let him do his crying outside. You can't think in here. That goes for the rest of you, too. Yeah, yeah I'll bring it up, you all. Come on, get going. I'll take him out. Come on, Hugo. A breath of fresh air will do you good. You're yeah, so good to me, Lee. Oh, Amy. Sure, sure, now. Come along, that's a good boy. 
What in blazes are you doing? Oh, just taking a look at the body, Sheriff. You are? Did you hear me tell everybody to get out? Uh, Sheriff, this is Ellery Queen. His father's a New York police inspector. Queen, yeah, I've heard of you. What's the matter? Did you smell a headline? Uh, do you? As a matter of fact, yes. And I don't want any outsiders horning in. Is that clear? You're the boss. And keep out of my way. I got rid of him, Sheriff. You're the one they call Tex, eh? Yeah. You're the last one that saw Amy Muller alive. How do I know who saw her last? Well, don't get smart, son. You're in a mighty tough spot. Come over here. Recognize this knot? It's just a knot. It's a special kind of a knot. About the only place you find that kind of a knot is on a cattle ranch. Colonel tells me you used to work on a cattle ranch. That's right. This is the knot that strangled Mrs. Muller. Now start talking, son. I suppose you got yourself an alibi for this afternoon? No, I... He was drinking over at the tavern across the road with Amy. Louise saw them going over. That right? Now, oh, what's the matter? Forget so soon? I'll handle this. Talk up, son. Sure, we, we went over and had a couple, but after about ten minutes, why, I left. Where'd you go? Well, if you gotta know, I was hitting the sack. That's a lie, Tiggs. First place I looked for you was your trailer. I was over at the cookhouse. And I <laughs> suppose nobody saw you there. I couldn't say. That's enough for me. What about motives? Huh? Well, it's just an idea, Sheriff, but murderers usually have a motive. Tex had plenty of motives. He and Amy was always off drinking together. Well, they probably had a lover's quarrel. That's a lie. There was nothing between Amy and me. Oh, let go. Let go. We're breaking up. Let go. All right. You could have broken his arm. You don't realize how strong you are. Oh, yes, I do. And he's going to find out. Uh, uh, temper, temper. He's lying, I tell you. All right, son. I've heard enough. Come along. Wait a minute. How do you know she was murdered? Maybe she hung herself. Sure. She flung the rope over the ridge pole and pulled herself up. Maybe she did. And tied that kind of a knot. No good, Tex. I'm taking you in for murder. Wait a minute, Sheriff. Hmm? Don't you think you ought to make sure? I want you to keep out of this. If you don't, I'll have you thrown out. Mr. Queen. Oh, hello. I've got to talk to you. Fine. What are we talking about? Oh, wait. Well, I heard what you were saying to the sheriff, and Tex didn't kill Amy. Oh, how do you know? Well, I don't know exactly, but well, he wouldn't do a thing like that. It's true, he's a heavy drinker, but he's not a killer. Well, it's not always so easy to tell. Besides, there was nothing between him and Amy. Is Tex your boyfriend, Louise? No, of course not. He's vulgar the way she was, but... Well, I, I just don't like to see an innocent person in trouble. Mm, very commendable, but what can I do about it? Well, you could find the real killer. I know your reputation, Mr. Queen, and you could if anyone can. Well, thank you. Do you have any suspects to suggest? <clears throat> well, there could be dozens. Uh, Colonel Dave. He was in love with Amy. Oh, when was that? Oh, years ago when he was working the Carnies as a strong man. But Amy was ambitious, so she... Teamed up with Hugo. Uh-huh. Anything else? Well, isn't that enough? <laughs> well, it's not very conclusive, Louise. But if you think of anything else, let me know, huh? All right, Mr. Queen. Right. Wait a minute, Louise. That knot on your belt. Knot? Yeah. It's exactly like the one that was used in the murder. Where did you learn to tie a cowboy knot? Tex taught me. He taught lots of people on the lot. Mr. Queen, you don't think that I, I have anything to do... I don't think anything just yet, Louise.
What are you doing here? Ah, it's your day. Nobody's supposed to come in here until the coroner comes. Oh? Huh? Then we're both in trouble, aren't we? Now, see here, Queen. Why are you snooping around, sticking your nose into things that don't concern you? Oh, it's just a noble impulse to see justice done, Colonel. Well, incidentally, you seemed awfully anxious to pin this thing on Tex. Well, I just want to get it cleared up. We're supposed to pull stakes tomorrow. If the show's held up and I blow the next town, why, I'll be ruined. So you pin the tail on the first donkey that's handy, is that it? Tex is the killer, and you know it. Do I? You know, Colonel, the coroner hasn't examined the body yet. When he does, someone's in for a nasty shock. What do you mean? I mean that Amy Muller wasn't strangled by that rope. She was strangled by a strong pair of hands. What? A pair of very strong hands, Colonel. The marks show it. You can even see the imprint of the killer's ring. Get out of here, Queen. Just going, Colonel. Right to the sheriff. Even he will be able to see that someone strangled Amy Muller and strung her up using that special knot to frame Tex. Oh, no, he's right, Louise, he's right. Is this how they say in show business? The show must go on. Oh, it's something I wanted more than anything in the world, but... Oh, I can't go on, Hugo, not tonight. You must, Louise, you must. You are a brilliant performer. And we will have time for one rehearsal. And then Emmy would have wanted it this way. Yes, I suppose she would. Oh, excuse me. Oh, well, Mr. Queen, have you found out anything? Uh, uh, Louise, if you want to have the costumes ready, you must, you must hurry. Oh, yes. Hey, what's all well, this? Uh, Louise is going on with me tonight in place of my wife. It was Colonel Day's wish. Hugo, will you be ready for the rehearsal? Yes, sure. I'll meet you in the big stuff. All right. You want to see me? Well, yes. I thought you might want to help me. Help you? To do what? To get the evidence on your wife's killer. Oh, I, I think they arrested him already. Oh, no, I'm not sure that they've got the right one, Hugo. Huh? As a matter of fact, once the coroner makes his report, they'll have to release him. Probably tonight. If they do that, I'll strangle him with my bare hands. It was he who killed Miami. He must be punished. Glad you mentioned strangling, Hugo. You knew, of course, that your wife was strangled before the rope was put around her neck. No, no, I did not know. But not in the usual way, Hugo. That's what makes this case so interesting. Huh. Here, let me show you. Well, what's this all about? Now, this is the ordinary position of a person's hands in the act of strangling with the thumbs pointed upward, right? Y yes, sir. Well, what's all about? Ah, but according to the marks on your wife's neck, the hands were reversed with the thumbs pointing downward like this. Yeah, I don't understand you. Well, it's simple. Someone strangled your wife, reaching down at her at an almost impossible angle. What has that to do with me? Well, I, I thought you'd want to help. After all, she was your wife. Oh, and there's another thing. The killer wore a heavy ring. Yeah, the marks show it plainly. But the hangings, they're all... An obvious attempt to pin this murder on Tex. No, Hugo. Our killer wore a heavy ring. And he strangled her from above. Probably from a trapeze. Who knows the truth? Why did you kill her, Hugo? She made my life miserable. 
And I'm in love with Louise. And I want to marry her. And you're a bigger fool than I thought you were. Why didn't you get a divorce? She wouldn't let me go. She was a nobody. I made her a great artist. And she knew it. And then she called me names every day. Hey, Hugo, you are fool. Hugo, you are getting old. And then she laughed. Laughed, laughed, laughed. Until I couldn't stand this laughter. And I had to shut off this laughter with my bare hands. It's just going to finish you she now. She like you. You are a fool. You'll go to the chair. No. No. Hugo won't go to the chair. He's too smart. It's so easy. So simple. What are you, what are you, what are you going to do? Huh. I'm going to wait till the sex is released from jail. Then I will kill you and make believe that he was the one again. No, you're, you're mad, Hugo. Hugo! Uh, Where? Aren't you coming to my No, easy. Don't come in. I'm dressing. Well, all right. But hurry. Yes, yes. I must hurry. I have a lot to do. Oh! Well, you know, I, I have the first part of the solo down right, but I'm not sure of the second catch. How does it go again? Let me show you. Give me your hand. Hop. It's on a count of two, isn't yes, it? Yes, on a count of two. Now, look, Hugo. Every time we go up there, we risk our necks. I'm serious about this rehearsal. So am I, darling. So am I. Well, let's get on with it, shall we? Oh, of course. It is of great importance to me. It means so much to me. It's my only chance to prove that you are a great artist. And I hope I don't fail you, Hugo. <laughs> Go ahead. Up the ladder. Magnificent. I couldn't do it better myself. Let's try it again, shall we? So wait. Rest a bit. Catch your breath. Oh, I feel fine. It's wonderful to be on the You're high traps again. You're born for it, please. It's poetry than you perform. Thanks, Hugo. Oh, there are so many things I could teach you, Louise. I can make you the greatest artist in the whole world. Oh, this act is good enough, at least for a while. For a while, Louise. This is our act. For life. For life? Of course. Do you think I could let you go now? Together we will do the greatest act that has ever been. Now that we have each other, there is nothing between us. Hugo, I don't understand what you mean. <laughs> you pretend with me. It's all right. <laughs> we'll speak about it again. Let's try the last trick once more.
You all right, Louise? Yes. What happened? I don't know. Are you all right up there? Yes. What happened to the light? Don't worry. They got the emergency generator on. There was a short in one of the outlets. We're searching for it now. Oh, thank goodness it didn't happen in the middle of a catch. No, it's all right now, Louise. Now, just once more, and then we are ready for the performance. Hugo, there's something I've got to get straight with you. Yes, Louise. Well, we're partners in the act, but, but that's all. Now that I am free? Hugo! Why are you so surprised? You love me. You feel toward me as I feel toward you. But I don't feel anything for you except gratitude for having given me this chance. It's not true. You love me. Love you? What on earth gave you that idea? Louise, you love me. You love me, Louise. Now, now you could do that to me, Louise. You couldn't do that to me. You made me believe that you cared for me. And then now you laugh. Laugh at me, yes. Laugh, laugh till I'll shut this laugh in your throat. You can't sleep anymore. You know now that I killed any, and I must finish you this thing. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Queen. In just a moment, we'll rejoin Ellery Queen.